And we continue to follow the fatal shooting of an Alabama police officer who grew up in Clay County on Sunday. Investigators say Mobile, Alabama police officer Sean Tudor was shot and killed by a suspect. In the past hour, we learned the 30-year-old also served in the Alabama National Guard. The 173rd Infantry shared this photo today, thanking him for his service. Just hours ago, there was a procession for Tudor in Mobile as his body was transported from the medical examiner's office to a funeral home. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson is live from Fleming Island High School where Tudor graduated. And Scott, Tudor's family and friends you've been talking to, just heartbroken. They are heartbroken by this, Mary. This has been a very difficult time for them. We know a little about the suspect. He's a 19-year-old man from Alabama who was wanted on both state warrants in Alabama as well as federal warrants. The death of a police officer has gripped the state of Alabama, but that sentiment is just as strongly shared in Clay County because Sean Truder grew up here. His family is on the road right now to Alabama, leaving behind this handwritten statement. We are devastated and trying to cope. At the same time, we are hearing from investigators in Alabama looking into 19-year-old Marco Perez, who's now facing capital murder charges. The police chief in Mobile says they are looking into a social media post that could be from Perez that says he wanted to kill a police officer. This case has sent shockwaves through Mobile. I think it's the most tragic, most senseless, you know, uh, death could ever happen to somebody that was so loyal and so dedicated to our service, you know, here, you know, Mobile Police Department. It's just a tragic thing. This isn't the first time Tudor has exchanged gunfire with someone. In 2015, when he was with the Palaka Police Department, Tudor fired on what we were told was an armed burglary suspect. That person survived. So while investigators continue looking into the incident in Alabama, friends and family are now left to grieve and plan a funeral. Clay County Sergeant Zach Cox knew Tudor for about five years and can't believe his friend is gone. Does this just remind you how dangerous it can be at any turn? Correct. Absolutely. Every, every day that we pull out of our driveway and leave our families is dangerous. Um, you know, we, we put on this uniform and put on this badge, um, leaving our families to go, go protect um, other families that we don't even know. And the suspect Perez in this case is being held on capital murder charges and other charges in Alabama. The judge on the case has denied him a bond. We are live tonight in Fleming Island, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.